Welcome if you are new here. Welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya and this is Budgie Budgets where we are working with a zero based budgeting system and cash envelopes to create some financial security for our family. Happy weekend. I hope you guys have all had a beautiful weekend. It is Sunday morning here now and on Sundays we do our weekly cash unstuffing for anything that we've spent out of our binders, our weekly check-in, our roundup challenge and our budget for the coming week. And it's a bit of an exciting budget today, you guys. Um, we've got a little bit of extra income to stuff because we got some money from um, our family tax benefit, which is our like government payments. They do like a balancing at the end of the tax year, which is 30 June for us in Australia. Um, and we got a few hundred dollars back from that. So yay, um, which means our envelopes are gonna be nice and plump, hopefully. Um, and it also means that we have a fair bit of cash put into savings challenges. Um, what else was I going to show you guys? Oh, before I get into it, I'm going to show you some little happy mail. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I bought this from LS Creations, which is by Lara. Um, she is the beautiful daughter of Amanda, Mum Wife Budget Life. And she sells, look how cute this is. Um, she sells little, um, like silicon... I think she does like keychains, pens, um, a few of the other budgeting lovelies have her um, keychains on their binders. Um, but I saw this one on her, how do I get into here? Here we go. Um, I saw this one on her Instagram the other day and I was like, oh, I need that because this is, sorry, that's so noisy. This is my, hold on. There we go. <laughs> This is my, how cute's the little bag she used. Love that. Um, this is my star sign. I'm an Aquarius. I mean, no one's surprised by that if they know anything by star signs and um, have watched my personality for a little while. <laughs> how pretty are the colors she chose. Um, I am kind of tempted to put it on a binder, but I actually wanted it for my keys. So, um, but I just wanted to show you guys because it's so cute. I love it. Thank you so much, Lara. So um, go and follow her if you haven't already. She is Alice Creations on uh, the gram. She sent me little stickers too. <gasps> Yay. We love stickers. We love stickers. Happy every day. Thank you. Oh. Ooh, and witchy stickers at that. Don't overthink it. The real growth is being more of yourself. Cute. Love them. Love it. Thank you so much, Lara. So yeah, if you guys are interested, go and give her a follow on Instagram. I love supporting small businesses. I love that it's a, a little young lady um, too, just making, you know, making some cash for herself. I think that's awesome. So let's start with some unstuffing. Uh, I think first of all, we have to take uh, 160 out of here so we might take what are we gonna take oh do you know what we'll take what am I doing <laughs> we'll leave that 50 in there we'll take the 60 out and 20 so 20 40 60 and the hundred that's already in the bank so that leaves us with 250 260 in our phone recharge um, that's the six month recharge done for my daughter um her phone was due this week as well so that's that done uh what else am i doing ten dollars out of school um now this ten dollars is actually just going to go uh i'll just take out the two fives um i'm going to take that back to the bank and have it changed all into one dollar coins um so my youngest she doesn't have they don't have canteen at her school they just have um every friday they can get like a little um like a little treat um sorry i'm just checking i'm still recording okay um yeah every so every friday they have snack bar they call it um where they can order so sometimes it's like popcorn sometimes it's a cinnamon donut in summer it's usually an icy pole um so yeah she just has to take a dollar in on friday and she gets that as like an extra little snack for the day so i'm just taking that 10 out to change into one dollar coins because i'm out of one dollar coins and then that will that should last for the rest of this term um, for snack bar. And we are also taking $10 out of family fun uh, because I bought her a book 
from the scholastic <laughs> is that is that like a um I, I imagine it's an Australian thing this scholastic book club um magazines that come out I used to love them when I was a kid I hate them as a parent I hate them because without a doubt every single time my kids want something or multiple things in there and um yeah I'm just like no don't give my children <laughs> what is effectively just advertising not that I really mind spending money on books most of the time. Books are the one thing that I'm like, do you know what? Buy as many books as you like. As long as they get read too. Like our bookshelves are overflowing. I was just saying, hubby, we need to do a, a clean out. So, but anyway, that's what that money is. So uh, we've got 100 already in the bank and we're taking out 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So $180 out of our cash envelopes this week. I will just put that out of the way um next up let's do our roundup challenge oh guys we're so close i really seriously thought about just throwing in the extra few dollars to to finish it but i won't i'll wait till next week it should be finished by next week and then we can put that hundred dollar into our mojo account but this week was a big one because we've done a fair bit of spending so um it was seven dollars 63 in total so i will for sure speed this up for you so you're not watching me forever also new calculator isn't she beautiful she's beautiful i will stop buying new calculators now i promise <laughs> okay see you in a minute Okay, look at that, you guys, we're so close. I think we have like $2 something, $2.30 or something to go, just under. Um, so that is so exciting. And that's all just from little itty bitty roundups from, so every time we spend on our card, it rounds it up to the next dollar and puts whatever the difference is into a specific roundup account. Um, there's quite a few banks that offer this now. So I know I was doing it with Up. I am now doing it with ANZ. We did change over to ANZ plus our drone account is with them now, um, just because they offer a better interest rate at the moment. Um, yeah, so it's a it's a great little thing, you know, it's only a couple of months of it happening. And, and you can also elect to have it round up like an extra dollar each time. I think it goes all the way up to $5. You can have it round up. So, um, but this is enough for now that we don't really notice it coming out of like our groceries or our fuel or, you know, anything else, but it still adds up. So, yay. So that is that. And then let's get on to our weekly check-in. So where are we? We are in July. Uh, so our weekly check-in looks not too bad so far. Uh, so we added 750 into groceries. We have spent 382, but we've done most of our shopping for this week already. Uh, so we have $100.60 left. So I'm really, really, really hopeful we can make that stretch out for the rest of the week and not go over. Um, moving forward, like the $800 will be our, how much we put in each time. Um, moving forward, it was just this July budget was a little bit all over the shop. So, uh, we didn't add anything to take away. We didn't spend anything. So there's zero in there. We did add 100 to petrol. Uh, we spent $90 24, uh, which means we had 26, 76 left over and chemist, uh, we added 10. We didn't spend anything. So we've still got 10 in there. So a pretty good week, no negatives. Like that's the first time in a long time we've had no negatives. <laughs> so we'll take that as a win for sure. We will take that as a win. All right, let me just zoom you in a smidgen. So hopefully you can see what I'm writing a bit better. So income for this week is a combination of um, our like, benefits from like government benefits like family tax benefit a family tax benefit b um child support payment and our family tax benefit uh balancing payment that's that's what we're budgeting with this week so after we've already taken out rent we have one thousand eight hundred and forty four dollars to budget with so um apple icloud is getting 10 um i have boosted that up a little bit because i am predominantly using Apple products now. Um, so I think I'm going to change over. I do have a Google Drive 
but I think I'm going to change over to Apple iCloud. So I think that payment's going to go up. I'm just, I'm still a little on the fence about it, but I'm putting it there in case I decide to do that. Obviously I'm filming on iPhone and obviously this takes up a lot of storage. Um, so yeah. Uh, Xbox membership is getting 19. Spotify. These are all like, you know, 18.99, 23.99. I just round them up because it gets rounded up because it's considered a card transaction, it gets rounded up in our account anyway. So, um, yeah. Netflix is getting 19 as well. That's gone up recently. And YouTube is getting 17. So that totals 89. And we have $1,755 left to play with. Uh, Takeaway is getting 85. Um, I did put in here to bump petrol up $20, but we don't actually really need it just at the moment. So, um, we'll just see how we go. If we don't need it, I might bump that up to groceries if we need it there. Um, we'll just see. Uh, chemist is getting 15. Sorry, my handwriting's so messy today. It's because I've got all these chunky bracelets on. We did a little craft day yesterday. So my daughters each made me a bracelet and hubby. <laughs> sat and did beating with us for a little while well with the kids I wasn't beating I was sitting with them but I was working so <laughs> um dog food is getting 120 because I'm pretty sure they are due for food soon uh spending is getting 20 dollars. that's all hubbies I've already spent my spending money um on some stuff for bluebell so um and then whimsies, which is the dogs, uh, the bones that we get for the dogs, <laughs> is getting 60. So that totals 320 and leaves us with 1,435. Then over here, whoops, uh, my kids are getting their pocket money from this pay. And that is $70 for the three of them. Has gone down a little bit. Um, last month, it gave them $85. i have just given them a little bit of a pay cut. Um, I just want to see how we go with the lower income that we've got. So obviously, hubby and my spending has gone. We'll be um, decreasing a little bit to make up for that missing money. Um, and yeah, the, kind of, the kids kind of has to as well. So, <laughs> uh, But they're all fine with it. They're all good, with, good about it. So... Um, we talked to them quite a lot about kind of cash flow in our house and, um, you know, making choices about what we spend money on. Like, uh, my two girls, they share a bedroom by choice. They don't have to, but they do. Um, and they really, really want a bunk bed. So they want like one of those ones where it's a double bunk, like double bed down the, the bottom and a single bed up the top so that my oldest daughter has the double bed, my youngest has the top bunk. Um, and we kind of were like, you know, when we got Bluebell, that was a choice. Like if we get the bird, we won't be able to get the bunk bed for quite a while. So I might even, my, my daughter, she's so cute. She made a little savings track up for the bunk bed that she wants me to use. So I might put that in one of these at some point. Um, and we'll start putting money aside. The other option I've given them is that it could be um, part of a Christmas present. So, um, or all of their Christmas present likely because they're not cheap and we would need like at least one new mattress and new bedding every obviously if my oldest daughter's going from a single bed to a double but but yeah that's the kind of thing that we spoke to them about like this is a choice so it's a, it's the opportunity cost right so we could get a bunk bed with this money or we could get a bird with this money um and we decided as a family that we wanted the bird i don't know if you can hear her right now she is in a mood this morning holy moly she was so such a sweetheart on friday she just wanted she was just chirping away chattering away and wanted all the loves and attentions and um she was pretty good yesterday but this morning whoa she is cranky i'm not sure what that's about but that's all good she's still just settling in so she seems to get angry when our dogs aren't around. I think she likes to be able to keep an eye on them. It's really funny. Uh, so cash envelopes is getting a whopping $930. Ah, love that. And savings challenges is getting 190. So that'll be split up between mini Mondays and my regular savings challenge, which means we'll probably do a savings challenge video separately on Friday because that is going to take too long to do in with my cash stuffing, especially when it's going to be a big cash stuffing to begin with. So that totals 1,000. 
$190, which leaves us with $245. And you guys, that $245 is our final payment to the ATO. So that is not due until, um, mind blank, that is not due until next month, until the start of August, the 4th of August or something like that. Um, but I will be paying it this month. So I'm going to transfer that. When our pay clears tomorrow, I'm going to transfer that money to the ATO straight away and that'll be done. So that'll be our ATO debt finished, which is so exciting. And that is all of our money allocated for the budget this week. Oh my goodness. That birdie is going bananas. Um, yeah, so that's that's everything. So it's super exciting. It's going to be a really, really good week. So I hope that you guys have all had a brilliant weekend. Um Oh, this, the spiral on this does not love me. I'm always fighting with it. Um, I hope that you have had a wonderful weekend. I hope that you have a beautiful week. The sun is finally coming out here this morning, which is so nice. It has been so, so cold in Melbourne, like absolutely icy freezing. Um, so hopefully we get a little bit of nicer weather in the coming week. And I hope that you do too, wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow for Monday Minis. Love you guys. Bye-bye.